All right, we're going to take a look at one more key concept as far as fundamentals of programming or writing VBA code within Excel. Now, there's again, several topics that we can get into here, but I've kind of nailed down some key fundamental concepts. And as we create additional series that deal with Excel VBA, we'll elaborate more and more about these concepts. But here's a very important one, and this deals with variables. Now, a variable, I mentioned it earlier, much, much earlier inside of this series, that variables is something that just about every language, I can, I can even maybe venture to say 100% of programming languages current utilize variables in some degree. Okay? Very, very important concept for us to be able to nail down here. And that's why I'm going to throw it into the fundamental section. A variable is really a storage location, someplace that we can store a value that we can later retrieve and utilize inside of our code in some fashion, whatever that is. So imagine this, you've got a message box. Ooh, ooh, remember that? We got a message box here. So when this procedure runs, if I just click into that procedure and hit F5, function key F5 on my keyboard, this will run it. There's my prompt, the little dialog box that's presented to me. Hey, this is a message box. Yay. It's got a button on it. Now, we can have message boxes that have multiple buttons. There could be a yes and a no button. Ooh, ooh, try this. If I go back into my procedure that we created in the earlier video, I'm going to go just to the right of my prompt. I'm going to do a comma. And it comes up with buttons as VB message box style. VB OK only. That's default. I get an OK button only. Well, there's other button configurations that I can choose from. Let's grab the one called VB yes, no. So I'll grab that one. And maybe I'll change this to something else. I'll say, uh, uh, let's see, is VBA fun? All right, let's ask a question. So I want to know whether it's yes or no. Is it fun? Is it not fun? It can be fun. It cannot be fun. I don't know. I'm asking you, is it fun? All right, so if I run this now, oh, what's it expecting? Compile error. So I mentioned earlier that there's a syntax checker, but there's a compiler that runs in the background as well to check to see if we have any errors within our code. So I'm going to say, okay, there's something I need to change here. So if I were to run this right now, we would get a prompt. We get a dialog box that pops up and it says, is VBA fun? And we would have two buttons, a yes and a no button. But now, because we're giving the user a choice, it's returning one of two values back to us. Okay? Two, one of two integers, numeric values back to us. Well, in order for us to be able to get that value, and do something with it, because I want to know whether the user pressed yes or whether they pressed no, right? What did they do there? I need to store that somewhere. And that's where a variable comes into play. So into my code, I'm going to come up here to the top. And the first thing I'm going to do within my procedure is I'm going to declare a variable. I'm going to tell Excel that when this procedure runs, we want to create a little space in memory where we can put a value. Okay, store it and then later on use it. So this first line, I'll just say comment that we are declaring a variable. Okay. We're declaring to Excel that we're going to create this memory spot that we could put something into. So you do that by utilizing the dim keyword inside of Excel and dim. Then you give it a name. I'll call this uh, user reply and then you want to tell it what type of data you're going to store in inside of that variable so as integer so three little parts to declaring a variable or alerting excel that when this procedure runs you're creating that storage that spot in memory to put information dim that's the first keyword we're going to use dim Next, you give it a name. What do you want to call this variable? How are you going to reference it? Okay. No spaces, user reply, that's what I'll call it. I could have called it A, I could have called it Ralph. Doesn't matter, you give it a name, something that you can identify this through. Being a little specific does is helpful. And then the last thing, 
you data type it, you tell it what type of data you're going to be storing inside of this variable. In this case, it's going to be an integer, a numeric value. All right, so now I've got that variable. I can now say user reply is now going to be equal to the results of the MSG box. Okay. So now when this gets prompted up on the screen, user has yes or no. When they pick a button, that value will then be stored inside a user reply. Now, just so we can see it, I'm then going to turn around and say, let's get another message box and I'm just going to have it output user reply. So we can see what happens, what value gets passed to us and is stored inside that variable. All right, let's move this window back to my v or my Excel window. I'll go to view. I'm going to go over to macros, view macros. I'll select fun with procedures and I'll run it. All right. So there's our prompt is VBA fun. All right. Is it fun? I'm going to say yes and it returned a number six. So now we know, right, when a user presses the yes button, the message box returns and it's stored inside of our variable called user reply, it stores a number six. Now, why is that important to us? Well, I wanna know what button the user pressed. Did they press a yes? Did they press a no? Well, if it returns us a six, we know it's a yes. Let's try this again macros view macros i'll run fun with procedures and this time i'm going to say no right but i really want to press yes because it is fun there's so much you can do with it i'm going to say no and we get a seven so if they press yes we get a six if they press no we get a seven all right now inside of our code we can then build some logic maybe an if statement Something a little bit more that we can get into, not just yet, but something that we can build and say, hey, if user reply equals six, then do this. Maybe we store it in a database someplace. Maybe we do something different inside the worksheet. I don't know. Maybe if they say no, then we do something else like shut down Excel because it's no fun. Get rid of it. Right. Well, we have that ability here and we can create it within our procedure. Try this out. Get into your VBA window. Let's open that back up here. Oh, on the other screen. Get into your VBA window. Create a procedure. Fun with procedures if you haven't already. Let's create the message box. Let's create a variable that we can then store the response back from the user. VBA yes, no. You got other configurations of buttons in there as well. We've got critical. We've got, uh, let's see. There's a OK and cancel button. There's a question button. There's a retry and cancel button. You got all sorts of buttons that you can utilize in there and see what numeric, numeric value comes back to you. If I bring this window back up again, they're going to talk about all the different types of buttons you can put in there. And they'll also talk about the return value that you can get back from it as well. Okay, right there. So try it out, create your procedure and have some fun with the message box function.